Should you buy an Amazon Alexa-based device in 2020? Let's find out. Also, for some reason, one of you guys have unsubscribed to my YouTube channel. I now only have 49 subscribers. Comment down below why you unsubscribe. Honestly, I'm not mad at you. I don't think you're a bad person. If you are a loyal subscriber, thank you guys so much for sticking through with me. And uh, yeah, enjoy this video. Should you buy an Amazon Alexa based device in 2020? By the way, I'm not targeting any hardware or anything. This is the Amazon Echo Dot second generation. I got this in around 2017. It's a pretty good device, but I'm not talking about the hardware, I'm talking about the software. So this applies to any Alexa based device. It could be your phone, it could be. It doesn't have to be an Amazon Echo, it can be anything that has Alexa enabled. So. Is it worth it? Should you invest in it? Well, if you want to experience the cutting edge of tech and uh, voice recognition, go ahead. Amazon Echo Dot is going around for like 20 bucks on a good day. And um, these are pretty good little devices. If you have a smart home, go for it. There also is a problem. Listening to music. If you want to listen to music on this for free, well, you can't. You have to choose a radio station. Let's say I ask Alexa to play Despacito. Alexa's gonna tell me I'm broke and I have to buy Amazon Music. And I'm not gonna do that when I could just watch it on YouTube. So, yes, I do understand the artists are trying to make money. They need to put food on their table. But still, it's just not worth it. If you're going to listen to music on this, then don't. Unless you have an Amazon Pro Music subscription. $3.99 a month, it's not a lot of money, but it's not worth it when you can just watch it on YouTube on your phone. And uh, just saying, everything you do on an Amazon Alexa device, you can actually do on your phone. So yeah, but if you want the convenience of a voice activated system, or you just want to feel the future, or you have kids and you want them to have the internet enabled device, but you don't want to get them a phone, then you can just get them an iPad. But anyway, yeah, if you have a smart home, get it. If you have uh, kids, sure, go for it. I think it's pretty fun. These aren't that expensive. But if you want to get this for listening to music, then don't. Because let's say I ask Alexa to play Despacito. Alexa will say, no, I'm sorry, I can't play this song. Here's a radio station that's based off your search. And guess what? It's the actual song. Most of the time, it actually plays the actual song just from a radio station and after the song ends you have to rewind it again because it's just gonna keep on playing random other songs but you still get to listen to music for free on this on radio stations and uh, yeah you could also listen to audiobooks I guess you get f one free audiobook from like Anna Green Gables, The Secret Garden, and some other book I don't remember but yeah so smart home yes Kids, yeah, sure, but if you're just a normal person, well, then don't get it. I don't suggest it. Unless you do have a smart home, you could link up a system, or you could use this as a phone. Or if you have someone who is visually impaired or blind, you could use this. It'll make their life quite a lot easier. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this video. This is pretty short, I know. But, um, yeah, please subscribe, like this video, turn notifications on. See you in the next video. Bye.